Hey everybody, it's Sam Sam Ballistic, and today I'm going to be bringing you a commentary about my afterthoughts on Modern Warfare 3, or kind of during thoughts, I guess. We're still in the Modern Warfare 3 season, Black Ops 2 has not come out yet, it is now October 26th, and Black Ops 2 comes out in 18 days? Something like that, I'm not sure. I haven't been really listening to the countdown very much, but I did say I would not make this commentary. I just felt like I really needed, I really needed to get my... Afterthoughts of Modern Warfare 3 in. After, okay, I have not played this game most of the summer, honestly. This, I've been more into Darksiders when it came out, and then other games in general, like Minecraft, you could say. This game lost my interest. Black Ops did not lose my interest. I played that game the whole summer. That's basically all I did. This game, I didn't have the same pull to play it. <sighs> I don't really know what happened with it. It's it's a good game. I honestly cannot say this is like a super bad game. As much as everyone lo loves to hate on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3 was generally like a good game. I thought it played really well, except except for my pointless problems with Modern Warfare 3 video, which you can watch. I talked about the problems with it that are really we not like regular problems. But this game, man, I came back to it this r past week, and I... I was flabbergasted. I couldn't, I couldn't stand this game when I played it. I was like, this game is is bad. It something happened, I guess, to my views or something, or my thoughts on Call of Duty completely. After I've seen so much Black Ops 2 gameplay, and I've been going back to Black Ops original, I, I've been, I guess I have my have my hopes, not hopes. Um. I have my expectations of Call of Duty a little bit higher now because of what I've seen. Was Black Ops a better game than Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, I'm sorry. I would say definitely. Like the the Black Ops, I'm one of those people that play Call of Duty, and when when the next Call of Duty is announced and there's gameplay footage or something showing of it, I will look at that Call of Duty and say, this is going to be an amazing Call of Duty. I did the exact same thing with Modern Warfare 3, and I kind of got let down, but I'm doing the exact same thing with Black Ops 2, and I hope, I really hope I'm not let down with this game, but it's Call of Duty, and that usually happens, so I should probably not be looking forward to Black Ops 2 as much as I am, but it's kind of hard when it does look pretty awesome, actually. Uh, with any Call of Duty, though, there will be problems. Like, with this game, I assumed... They said they were going to have better map design than previous Call of Duty's. Like, they were like, oh, yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be made for all you hardcore hardcore Call of Duty fans. And I was like... Like, when the when the map packs come out, and you look at the maps, and you your immediate thought is, oh, this is not that good. That's not a good sign. Honestly, the map design in this game is actually really bad, in my opinion. I... I don't like it, and I feel as though Black Ops 2 is taking that direction, where they think that not having a point of interest, or whatever you want to call it, is is a good idea. It's a great idea to have that, because that makes their areas where there's more conflict. I don't get it. I don't get the logic. But to like end this, I would like to say that my afterthoughts on Modern Warfare 3, this was a good game. Don't get me wrong. I actually really enjoyed playing this game for the first six months maybe I, I would say more definitely it seemed like when summer hit I stopped completely like I lo literally just played last week and that was probably the last time I played in two months maybe but it seems it's not up to par honestly Modern Warfare 2 as much as everyone hates that game I feel as though Modern Warfare 2 might have been actually on a higher level than this game and I know I'm going to get a lot of flack for that because Modern Warfare 2 is apparently the most hated Call of Duty. But I find this game to be a little bit of a, a, a lower level than Modern Warfare 2, but it's still a good game. Honestly, I enjoyed this game for what it had. And I'm looking forward to Black Ops 2. You can expect a video on that actually pretty soon. I'm going to be talking about it. So thanks for watching.